sinking in the middle of your storm. And now I urge you to take heart, for there will be no loss of life among you, but only of the ship. Acts 27, 22. Only the ship. The vessel was destroyed, but not them. God uses the raging seas to shake, rattle, or destroy everything around us for his purposes. He does it to get our attention and discipline or judge us and others. You may be caught in the middle of someone else's storm. Maybe there is a disobedient Jonah in your ship and the vessel is lost. Ultimately, whatever God's reason, he watches over you and he will be glorified. It is difficult to endure such a threat without falling victim to fear and discouragement. It may be that your symbolic ship is going down and will be lost. Your ship can be anything that rocks your sense of security and threatens loss. We live in a very sinful, violent, and volatile world. It seems to be getting worse by the day. All that we are and everything everyone we hold precious is being violently attacked by the wickedness of this world. It's only a matter of time before all Christians lose their ships here. Paul urged the men in the ship to take heart. I beseech you to take heart. Don't lose hope. Your Savior lives. The most precious thing that can ever be taken away or destroyed is your relationship with Christ. That will not happen if you are saved by him. He will never leave you nor forsake you. But if a person continues to sin, grieves the Holy Spirit, and does not repent, they place themselves in serious danger. God will not be mocked. There is a price for salvation. It came and comes at a great cost. Your salvation cost Jesus Christ his life. If you love him and obey him and confess and repent from your sins, past, present, and in the future, there's no problem. An unbelieving, unrepentant, wicked heart that continues to mock God and willfully, habitually sins is in grave danger. Examine your life. Love and obey God. Return to him when you fall. Change any evil ways. Watch out for your first enemy your sinful self. Minister to others whose ship is lost or sinking. Help them run to God, whether they are brought on by themselves this calamity or not. They need some planks to float on so they can make it to shore. Pray for them. Don't fall into the same trap Job's friends did when they offered him bad advice. Leave room for God's sovereignty. Their tumultuous sea and sinking ship may not be caused by their sin. Everyone will be touched by this world's and its rebellion. Do right and trust God. He will help you escape to dry land. The only thing that will be lost when you endure to the end will be your sinful nature, life, and world. They will be replaced with a resurrected body and eternal life in a sinless world. And the rest, some on boards and some on part of the ship. And so it was that they all escaped safely to land. Acts 27, 44. 